Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here continuing with our VBA tutorial and as you would have seen from our last lesson what we have done is we have used an if statement or if then else if statement to set up a grade calculator where I enter in some marks for three exams and it tells me the average and it tells me um, whether I have passed or whether I have a high distinction or distinction things like that so let's have a look at our code and you can see that the ways we have set it up is we have used an if statement so we said if this cell has a value bigger than 83 then do this it else if if it is bigger than 67 do this otherwise if it's bigger than 50 do this otherwise say you didn't fail and things like that so previously we talked about the need to shorten the code so you don't repeatedly type the same thing over and over now how many times do you see the <clears throat> words range f9 so it occurs once over here occurs again over here occurs again over here range f9 occurs three times so we want to make it occur just once if possible so the way we can do that is instead of using an if statement we use uh, what's called a select case statement so what's the difference between if statement and select case in the if statement you can see here that because we specify the variable that we're testing each within each condition we can potentially enter a different cell so for example here we have f9 here in this else if we could potentially enter in something different for example we might want to test the value in the cell f10 or f11 but with select case which i will show you right now you can only test the value in a single cell which is all we need so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type in select case range f9 dot value so what does this mean this means that we are going to test the value inside range f9 against a series of cases okay so now we can basically replace all of these if statements with cases so the first case is case um, case is bigger than or equal to 83 and then you don't need the then clause so get rid of that um, then you got case is bigger than 67 Ooh, we don't need then either and then we have case is bigger than 50 and then we have um case else okay so you can see here that we have reduced it so that the term range f9 dot value only occurs once so let's save this and let's go back and let's see if the code is still working so let's make it 2010 calculate average um, no because i have end if 
and if which does not match with our select case statement so it should say and select so let's save that run it again um what's going on it's not working why isn't it working let's go back have a look um stop it boom 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 and, and select should be working let's press that again yes it is working so 15 uh, make it a higher grade 90 90 distinction 90 high distinction so yes it's working so you can see that this way um we say select case we enter in the variable that we're going to test which is range f9 dot value and then for each case we say what we're going to do so in the case that it is bigger than or equal to 83 we're going to do all this stuff so by the way you can select multiple lines and press tab to indent the code indent the code a bit so it's clearer what's happening case else indent and end the select statement okay so that concludes our lesson on select case Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.